City Hall pushing for a law named after Avante Aquendo. He was the teen with autism who ran out of his Long Island City School last year. His remains were discovered months later. CBS 2's Janelle, Janelle Burrell has this report on a case that took the city by storm. Avante's law! Avante's law! The chance of frustrated parents urging the city council to move faster to pass Avante's law, a bill that would require audible alarms to be placed on the doors of all city elementary schools and schools with children who have special needs. What happened to Avante will never, never happen again. Joining the rally was Doris McCoy. The proposal is named after her grandson, Avante Aquendo, the teenager who was autistic and slipped out of his Long Island City School last October. His remains were found in the Hudson River in January. Since we found Avante, eight children have walked out of their school buildings unnoticed. It's just incredibly terrifying to think that you can drop your child off um, and they go missing. The bill was written by city council member Robert Cornegate. We're not going to take any deal that doesn't put our children's safety as a priority and does not alarm school doors first and foremost. Some parents had accused the council's education committee of purposely stalling the legislation, a claim its chair denies. Nothing, and I repeat, nothing could be further from the truth. This morning, the committee held a public hearing on the proposed law, which supporters say has the support of 47 out of 51 council members. They're now hoping the council will allocate the $1.5 million to get the alarms installed across the city, so they'll be in use by next school year. Discussion and delay is not an option. And after the hearings for the bill wrap up, the next step is for the bill to go before the full city council for a vote before it can be signed into law. Outside City Hall, Janelle Burrell, CBS 2 News.